everybody. It's been a while since I've done a video. As you've noticed, we are not really near water. Today we're up in Bloomington. Uh, this is Charles Dean Wilderness Area, or whatever the official title of it is. Uh, we're up here today. I'd like to collect a couple nice geodes, but more so I'm interested in collecting a few crinoid fossils and maybe if anything else interesting shows up. But today is what looks like the last really nice fall day of the season. Tomorrow morning, or uh, tomorrow evening rather, it's supposed to go well below freezing, it's supposed to have freezing rain during the day, and then snow in the evening. So with that in mind, I want to enjoy this last little bit, and Bloomington is one of my favorite places in the fall. It is just absolutely stunning. And I never made it up here this year. I suppose I didn't make it up this fall. So we're walking a little ridge. This is where I went to last time I was here. And we're going to make our way down to where a creek runs. We're going to see if we can collect a couple good things before it gets, gets too dark and too cold. So I hope you we're enjoy. making our way down the path here, all these cutbacks. And something weird caught my eye sitting here. Look at this little critter. Pretty sure that's a marbled orb weaver. One of the prettier spiders I think we've got around here. We'll leave him be. I thought you might enjoy that. Just look how insanely pretty it is out here. There are a couple other people up at the parking lot, but Biscuit and I have pretty much got this, this trail to ourselves today. We'll go see if we can find some rocks now. Just made it down to the creek. This is where most of the interest is going to be. Actually, we can see one right here. There's a big geode. Come here, girl. Biscuit. This side. This side. This thing. Yeah, this is a pretty dense one, but look at the size of that geode. It might be fairly solid, but it's a start. Time to start poking around these creeks now. There's one. Somebody took a swing at this one already. It's a little, I guess people call them pill bugs. She's having fun. It's pretty cool. A little heavy still. Working our way down a creek here. We found this little piece of, I would assume, limestone. Or phosphorific limestone. It's just full of little stems of crinoids. Finding bits and pieces of, well, some big geodes and then things like this, little pieces of geodes that have been broken. This one kind of looks like it might have been a coral before. We're getting further away from the trailhead and the rocks are getting more frequent. This little area, I guess somebody must have dumped what they had found. That nice, nice piece right there. Good little dog. There's a little, little fossil right there. Not much to that one. But there's a biscuit girl. Gentle. Look. Look right there. Got a little crinoid stem. Which are pretty common up here. Not pretty common, they're very common up here. But always good fun. I don't really want to reach my hand in there, but I guess I'm gonna. Well, it's all sorts of cold. Nice little fossil. Some, I assume, Brazilians. I don't know. I'm rusty on my identification. I'll look it up later. But Look at the size of this one. It weighs a ton. I could not... I mean, I've done it. I wouldn't do it on one like this, but look at... Pretty iron oxidized on that it weighs a ton though it's a solid rock it's pretty guess whoever got the other half of that got a nice one we'll keep on chugging along really looking for some light ones ones that I know are gonna have a good cavity and that's not quite it
it's an old tree upturned right here. And if you look right here, you can see there's a geode stuck in its roots. There's, it's in there and not really worth dealing with. Just walking this little creek bend right here. I think I've picked up like 10 geodes. They're all too heavy or too dense for what I'm looking for. But like, there's one right here. It's a real heavy one. Got a big one right here. It's a real solid one. I have one or so like this in my collection. And they're, oh my gosh, look at that crystal. Dang it, I don't want to carry this out, but now I might. That is such a beautiful, ter beautifully terminated crystal. It's bigger than any of the ones I've got right now. Man, I could video and photograph these all day. Look at how pretty those crystals are. It's kind of cool. You can see on this bank, uh, it's like a real sharp curve in the creek. <laughs> Thank you, Biscuit. You can see a geode eroding out of the wall here. It's pretty neat. It's it's a heavy one, so we'll let that be. But you having fun, pup? Yeah, I thought so. Let's go. So if you look real closely, we got right here a nice little section. Quartz geode. There's another turn on the creek. You can see this bank is really heavily eroded. So that's a decent spot to stop and look for some geodes. Not that you really have to do it. There's enough in the creek bed, but you look, you got one right here. Go up, you got another one starting to expose itself. You got some real little ones down here, which are probably fairly solid. Just, I would call them nodules. I don't know what people who know what they're doing would call them. There's, ooh, actually that one's interesting. Let's wash that one off. I'm struggling to say the word today, but like geodized coral. I don't know which one it is, but we'll take it home. We'll clean it up. So I've been walking this creek over here, and this is where the trailhead meets back up with it. Or just a trail. And I was walking down here. There's a little ravine, and it meets back up. And right in this pile, there's this geode. And I had to lift it because I was curious how heavy it was. Just stunning. Look at that. And it's not all that heavy. Yep, just flipping over a couple pieces of... I just a piece of rock. Look who's hanging out underneath it there. It's a nice little crinoid stem. And if you look over here, is more so what I was looking for. Is a little deathbed. Double-sided. That one's real pretty. I think I might take that one. Ooh, that's even cooler. Oh, shoot. All right, let's see if we can find him. Oh, there he is. He might not be. I wonder who you are. Get some pictures of him. Look at this beautiful one someone found. Goes from crystals to that globular biscuit girl. Isn't that cool? I love a good globular. Holy cow, look at this creek bend. It's perfect. You look down. Got this big guy right here. Got this pancake shaped one. Got this broken one. You've got them coming out of the walls right here, you got them down in the creek bed down here. Biscuit, this way. Got big ones down here. Down here. And look at the size of this behemoth. There's no way that thing's going anywhere. At least not from me. None of these are small. That one's big. It's got all those... Well, one section of good crystals in it. Amazing. We got a piece of fossils all bound up together right here. It's nice and pretty. Got some nicer ones already though. We'll let somebody else find that one. 
down a little further, and you can see a little crayfish up there. Just doing his little thing. We're not gonna bug him. Just thought it was cool. Haven't seen one of them in a bit. But actually, if you look right there, that little white speck looks like a little crinoid stem. I don't know if I don't think that's gonna be worth getting. Water is mighty cold. Well, with that, I think we're out of here. It's getting a little late and I'm getting hungry. We did pretty good on the geode side. Found a ton of them. Only taken home two or three of them and a few little broken pieces. Not a whole lot of... Not a lot of the specimens I'm wanting to cut open with the saw. So we'll just take home the broken ones. Fossil-wise, <clears throat> not quite what I was looking for. Last time I was here, I found some really beautiful... I don't know, I call them like death plates, or there's some actual name for them. Uh, places where a bunch of fossils have dropped to the bottom and all packed together into one sheet. Those are my favorite to find. But not today. Well, we found a few of them, but it was all like crinoids and don't really need too many more of those. At least not in that kind of configuration. And it was good fun. It was one of my favorite places. It's just, I mean, like, look at this nonsense. All right, there's no way the camera's doing it justice. Beautiful yellowy oranges. I don't know. It's a good way to spend the day with the pup. Come on, girl. Thank you. Got a little bit of a hike out. It's not going to be too bad. I didn't end up filling up the backpack that much. Whenever you do this kind of stuff, be respectful. Don't take too much. Make sure you're legally taken. This is one of the nicer places in Indiana for that, I think. It's legal to collect for personal use here. There is no real distinction about what that means quantity-wise, so be respectful. Use some common sense. Just love the white trees here. They're just so pretty in the f fall, especially in the winter too, once the forest is just brown, those bright whites poke out. I love it. Don't you biscuit. I don't <laughs> know if any of you all are botanists or anything, but this seems like an odd little plant to be having poking out here. Not particularly sure what it is, but I'll give it a shot to look it up. It's not that big, but it's the only one I've seen. Like, I know there are invasives here. So there were a handful of aloe plants on the way in, but that one seems odd. Just poking out there. 